Hey there, everyone! This is and Spyro Madness. This is like last time we beat the game. But then this giant dragon statue's head opened up, and there's Nasty's loot. This is gonna be the final? I mean, I don't know. Like, look at this map here, you know, and there's plenty of space for, like, another dragon head to pop out. Like, I'm not assuming anything. But Nasty's loot is where we're going. We're gonna spend some time. I don't know really what to expect. Uh, I heard some comments, though. Rather read that today might not be that big of a thing. <laughs> okay! <laughs> no dragons or anything, but... You know, <laughs> scan 2,000 gems. Uh, where do I go from here? Okay, there's just like chests everywhere. I don't think I can glide there. I got an amount of lives for what it's worth. Uh, yeah, I can't glide there, I don't think. Oh, jeez, wait! Oh, so we are flying! Oh! Oh, 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 hey! I predicted a flying level, but, uh, it's kind of indirect about it. Alright, well, I guess we're going around and around to get some gems all over town. I mean, yeah, like, the number is going to raise real quick. Assuming that they're all like purple gems everywhere, but okay. Oof, yeah, gliding with flight is a little bit more awkward than you think. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what you'd think. Oh, so is it just like pure stuff getting and there's like not even like any enemies? Ah, uh, there's a... there's a thief there. Like that is a... oh, with a, with a key. You know, that's, that's exciting. Gonna eat your flesh and call it Marvin. That's pretty weird. Don't name your food after you ate it. That's just a bit sociopathic. All right, well I got this key here. I'm gonna use it to open a door or a box. We'll go either way. That's right. I destroy that. The music is all up in this house. Okay, well, um, so this is what we're gonna be doing, I guess. Alright, there's a stairway here. Yeah, gliding, then I need to, like, press it up. I, like, I need to stop holding forward once I start gliding. Like, that's the wild thing that I'm just not getting used to here. Alright, let's take a ride in the lava tunnel. Whoa, look at that turning in. Look at that, I'm dodging pipes. Just kind of making it my way through. Oh man! Let's see. Press forward to go down a little bit. And it's pretty rad, but yeah. Okay, so is this like a different area entirely? Oh wait, there's like a. I can't go as fully high as I want. I have like a limit on my height. Also, yeah, going in there doesn't do anything. Weird. All right. Well, there's where you use that that key I got. Um, this is a strange one. This is a strange one indeed. Alright, well, let's look for uh, stuff that I might be able to interact with. Yeah, everything's just, like, too high. Can I go higher once I'm here? No. Even in this high roof tunnel, I can't rise higher than that. No, 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 I can totally go to that door from here, I think. Looking at it... Yeah, it's at about the same height, so yeah, totally, totally, totally. Alright, so that's what I was missing there. Okay, here we go! Open the door! Not really aligned currently, but that's fine. It's okay. Oh yeah, another key. Okay, so I think that's what... So now I get a higher, slightly higher level. So I can access slightly higher places. Uh, from there, I might interact with a new thief, getting me a new key, and like that might be what's going on here. Cause yes, now I have access to here. Okay, all right, figured out what's going on here. Oh man, running after a thief. 
is holding a key But now the key is for me And also I'm in this big old place I don't have a better descriptor than place It's like a mesa, but it's full of grass Can you have a grassy mesa? I don't see why not, but I, I just don't know and I don't want to be geographically incorrect But I would not be able to live with myself Alright, now I gotta find a place where I was so I can go through a door and do a thing. Oh man, going through doors, incredible. And it's right here. Then you can press the triangle button and then you can put a key in the keyhole. The key is significantly too small. Oh no, we released a plane. Well, I sure did it now. Open up the hangar. There's one enemy in this level. They think uh, it's probably to give me, like, uh, uh, banana bread. Alright, let's fly after it. I can still do all my things and even go there if I want. I can go on top of those pipes. Alright, I can hear you. Alright, yeah, let's do the reverse loop. That's how that works, remember. He's a lot higher than me, but, like, eventually... Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he had, like, the next key I need to figure out. And I can also open up this firecracker. There we go! Explosion! Alright, so that's opened up, and I know it's gonna stay opened up for a while. And there's another firecracker there to get that. I cannot go there yet. This is something I'll have to return to. Alright, I guess we're going on a firecracker run. Oh boy, uh, here we go. Land out of place and let it go. Is that like a cannon? No, it's just a smokestack. No. Yeah, don't worry about it. Alright, well, you're gonna go and fly off and destroy something. Oh, is it gonna destroy that one? Hey, look at that. It's making you feel good. Yeah. Coat the zero. Alright, I don't know why I said that. Yeah, I think that my next key, though, I'm gonna get it by destroying the plane. But, like, I'm not high enough, it feels like. I don't know if I ever will be. It's, like, just a bit too high. Well, I can go there and at least get those and feel good about myself. Whoosh, landing. Alright, key, lay it on me, Jim. Alright, uh, maybe not. You don't have to call Jim if you don't want to. I know he's weird. Oh, what? That plane just went underneath those. So it has like a pretty complex route, possibly. Or it just goes underneath those and we can have fun together. Yeah. Or not. Fun, sometimes hard to find. Or like it's trying to dodge me. Yes, it goes lower when, uh. Okay, it goes lower when it's when I'm behind. So it's explicitly very yeah, it's a thief. Okay, that's good. Took me a little bit the cotton there to understand. All right, so turn way like I can turn way more tight than he does, and that'll let me catch up eventually. Like all my training, chasing down planes the wrong way during the whole game, paying off. Oh, I just, I just got it. You just, you just get it. Cool. We're doing it. All right. Now I can go there. Uh, it's gonna lead me to a place. Whoa! Unbelievable. I love places. I always hang out at places. I also exist there and live there. Oh, is this immediately a door? But not quite. No, 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 no. It's another pursuit. Oh, and that's why. We got the tunnels. It's now the ground for the greatest chase in town. Just don't crash and fly well. Where is it though? I guess it's just gonna go back there. And then uh, go back far bear. Yeah, back far bear is an important part of this. So is the strat to then go the other way and to meet up? And ambush him that way because yeah I don't see how I go fast enough of course when you go in the tunnels like there's a lot of lion I don't know where he is 
on that. I mean, this flight isn't the most optimal. But neither is mine. <laughs> Yeah, vaguely pursue, and at some point, you'll eat chew. That's my motto. I've never said that before. It's not really an uh, end goal I'm reaching. This level's kind of neat. It's very different. Oh boy, I went all the way here with a sweet gem. Yeah! Totally worth it. Well, what it is, is that it's a higher flight point. Uh, yeah, it lets me maintain it here. So now I have maximum height. Time to look for stuff to break. Like this thing. I didn't break it though. But it's gonna break this box here. Yeah, the important part is that now I can just go wherever I want. I have full control over my destiny and not even half the gems yet. But I just, that's just, it is meaningless because like there could just be like a stock of like 25 gems hidden in places and now will just like crank up your numbers like ridiculously. Yeah, I can go to the exit place. I have enough flight to go there. Oh, so let's just kind of go inside. It's all the 25. See, that's what I was talking about. That's so ridiculous. All right, well, time to blow up all the boxes and look at this painting. TNT and I took damage. It's quite amazing. Well, the reality is I'm just not really trying at all the hard to not get hurt. Yeah, see, this is just like such a ridiculous sense of inflation. If you ever wanted to do a study on how to ruin an economy, add purple gems in your collectibles. Nothing's gonna make sense anymore. Is that it? Hey, I'm the richest dragon in the world! Wow, we didn't do like the normal fly off. It like cut off there. We are now in the Dark Realm. Spyro the Dragon, oh. you've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. Yeah! How do you feel? Basketball I sheep. fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never Nothing. mind. Oh, you know what they say. Violent sheep. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his Look misguided that. nature, Just was a worthy opponent. Casual animal abuse in the battle. Honestly, uh, honestly, here we go honestly, they deserve it. Like, look at what we're doing. They were just like, just hurting that sheep for no reason. For cartoon and mischief. You get what you sow. Like, what was that? Honestly, like, I feel like Nasnor might have been... Might have been a uh, protagonist. I mean... You know, like, he quelled the dragon menace. And then spread all the riches amongst the populace of his kingdom. I mean, I don't know. Seeing just how casual all the other dragons are with being the worst, uh, I don't know, we got one of those, like, gray area endings that Time Space is famous for. Yeah, this is a pretty fun game. This was a really weird level. Not, like, I didn't know what to expect. And I got something I didn't expect at all. Can't complain about that. It was a lot of fun. Spyro, what I said last time, still holds through. True. I'm not sure why I would repeat it. But we got new level pan overs. Wow, wow. It's all the, like the ladder levels. We got to fly around. Right, let's see, now we can see what it looks like on top of there. So this is the flight levels with the DreamWorks guy. No, it's not flying levels, it's a boat. Spire Dragon Designs by Charles. I didn't have time to read your last name. Clancy Brown voiced 80 Dragon. Okay, also Carlos. And also Michael 
Gao. Oh, and also Jamie Alcroft. And also Michael Connor. All those people. Oh, Carlos Elzarecki, you did it. Are your Spiral's voice pretty good? Like, it sounds very 90s main character, but this is the end of the 90s. That just makes a lot of sense. Uh, Spiral's, as a, I don't, Spyro as a character isn't really a character. He's a mascot, like, he could sell cereals to you just as well as being a protagonist to a video game. But, I mean, like, let's be clear, like, for, like, the game has voice acting and all that, but the text itself is very, uh, very, like, straightforward. The, most of the text is extremely, therefore, uh, you know, it's, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like, it's there for their usage, not a lot of flavor. But, I mean, that's fine. Ah, hey, you bring me all the way back here, which I think is a sign that... I might just have actually super beaten the game. What's my percentage look like at this point? Oh, I need to press the button. Uh, what about- Hey! <laughs> yeah! We went like a full, like, 20% over. I think it's time to rest now, Spyro. Next time! Instead of a young dragon, a young frog! So really, you're like, moving up in life.